That was NBC reporter Ron Allen. He's saying the U.N. climate deal was designed to stop hurricanes and other severe weather events. With me now, WeatherBell.com meteorologist Joe Bastardi. Uh, I think we've had Cat 4 hurricanes before we were burning fossil fuels, right, Joe? Yeah, as far as the United States goes, the uh, impact of hurricanes was far worse in the 1930s, 40s, and 50s. If you look at a tracking chart, for instance, of major hurricane hits in the 1940s, Florida was like a Grand Central Station with seven major hurricanes, including the 1947 uh, West Palm Beach hurricane, which then went into New Orleans after and flooded New Orleans. But you simply have to go back and look at what happened before to understand this. I'll tell you what, when I see Providence, Rhode Island, uh, under 13 feet of water again, like 1938, or wind gust to 186 miles an hour at Blue Hill, southwest uh, of Massachusetts, a five minute wind speed of 121, that was the 1938 hurricane, then perhaps I might consider that maybe hurricanes are getting worse. We've been blessed in this country for right after Al Gore came out with his big movie about how everything was getting worse, hurricanes and Mother Nature can do this, All right, uh, seem to slap them right in the Joe, face. Their argument is that the oceans are getting warmer and the sea levels are rising. That is conducive to hurricanes. What do you say? Well, sea levels have risen well within the natural boundaries of what sea levels can rise, about eight inches over the last hundred years. And we've seen uh, over the years, you know, oh, uh, you take New York City was underwater at one time, but there were glaciers around New York City, too. So the argument is not does the climate change, it's how much does the increase of one molecule of CO2 out of every 10,000 molecules of air over 100 years do to a system that is eternally worked with the sun the ocean stochastic event and the very design of a planet which has got most of the land in the northern hemisphere water in the southern hemisphere rotates around an inconsistent sun and wobbles on its axis it's silly to think that such a, a minute amount compared to the entire picture is somehow the climate control now yeah, now I does do. it affect does it affect it well perhaps it affects it some but can you measure that compared to all the other grand scale uh, drivers that we talk about in meteorology and climate. So you say the weather system is such a gigantic system, it's hard to disentangle all the yeah, factors and yeah, blame the, one the, thing for it, right? Yeah, the, the, the oceans are warm today because you've okay. gone through 30 years of the Indian Ocean, Pacific Ocean, and the Atlantic Ocean being in their warm cycles. Let's wait 20 years, and if they're all in their cool cycles, well, by that time, the horse is out of the barn and everybody is spending their money. Like in, in Spain, look what happened to their economy with the great green experiment. Okay. You should talk to people there. All right, Joe Bastardi, thank you so much for your insights, sir. Really appreciate your time.